Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made my very own live edge wood coffee table. This is super trendy and they're expensive if you want to buy it from a store and I figured, hmm, could I make this? And I decided I could. So off I went to try. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously find a piece of live edge wood that you can work with. You want to make sure that the piece of wood that you have is really, really dry because otherwise you're not going to be able to work with it until it is dry. So for me, I took to my nearest marketplace and I searched live edge wood for sale. And I found this really, really random farmer that lives in the middle of nowhere and he had an actual farm as well as a barn full of live edge wood slabs. I ended up with a piece of black walnut. So here is my beautiful piece of wood that I got from a wood seller who has this random barn with like tons and tons of pieces of wood. And um, I actually already sanded this a little bit because initially you couldn't actually see any of the grain going through because of the saw marks, like these vertical saw marks here. So I'm just gonna keep on sanding it so that all these saw marks go away and this is a really nice and smooth surface. I'm gonna do that on the front and back and on the sides and then we'll see where we're at. So I started off with an electric sander and I used, I think it was like 40 to 60 grit sanding paper. And I sanded and sanded and sanded and sanded some more and kept sanding and it just went on and on and on. like literally for hours. So, after probably maybe six to eight hours, I had gone through and sanded off with the high grit paper and low grit paper, and finally, I had this piece of wood feeling smooth. It was almost like butter, but not as good. So I figured, you know what, that's, that's enough. I'm gonna stop here. And when I say stop, I mean I literally put it in my front hallway closet and uh, that's where it stayed for eight months because mentally I was exhausted and I could not fathom continuing on with this project at that time. So I'm gonna pause here for one second and just say, if you think I was doing something wrong with the sanding, can you tell me what that was? Because I don't know why it was taking me so long to sand. Anywho, moving on with this tutorial. So after eight months, go back to your closet, take out that slab of wood, Now off we go to staining. So for staining the wood, I wanted to keep that natural black walnut color that I thought I would see when I added the stain. So I picked the Minwax wood finish in the color 245 Golden Pecan, and I thought that that would really just enhance the natural color of the wood. Next I went ahead and took an old t-shirt and just cut that up into rags. And then I used those rags and that stain and just applied a nice good coat on either side of the table. I left that for four hours and then I repeated that step with a second coat of stain. After that dried, I went ahead and applied a nice good coat of polyutherine because I wanted the table to be nice and glossy. Now we move on to the table legs for this coffee table. So I went ahead and picked up three of these nice two rod hairpin legs that I got online. I'll link everything down below. And um, these are really nice. I believe I got these in 12 inch long just because of the height of my sofa and the height of the table. This was just the most appropriate. I went ahead and I spray painted these a nice matte black color. And then using an electric drill, I just drilled a couple pilot holes and then attached the legs to the slab of wood using some wood screws. And there you have it. The coffee table is complete.
video. If you did, then leave me a comment down below, give me a like, and also if you know the solution to my standing problem, let me know that down below because I'd really, really appreciate that. But yeah, if you like me, if you like watching me, you find me interesting, then why not subscribe to me on this YouTube or check me out on Instagram. I'm at DIYDelia with an underscore at the end. Until next time, guys. Bye.